next guy we're going to bring on is going to be the guy that's going to be getting battered on FIFA very, very soon. Mr. Jeez. David Harris, the Irish hotspur. How you doing, David mate? Been battered everywhere. I'm all good. I'm all good. I'm absolutely delighted. Harry, first of all, Harry Kane is fucking back, baby. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, all the love. I even tweeted him today. I had the feeling. I even tweeted him today. I said, Harry Kane, I feel like you're going to score. You know, he had the 007 premiere here. I was absolutely loving life to see him get on the score sheet. I'm absolutely delighted to see him back. But in terms of FIFA, lads, honestly, you can't handle what's coming your way. I've been practicing. I've been sick all week. I've had a lot of time to practice. Honestly, I'm going to left, right and centre, lads, from all angles. You can only imagine. David gets battered everywhere he goes. David and David, David, gets battered <laughs> David and Jack are going to take one hell of a beating. I can't wait to do it. Uh, but look, 3-2 today. Um, how happy are you with the win and who are the really outstanding performers for you? I'm absolutely delighted with the win. I'll be honest with you. I knew it was coming. Look, all this hearsay, all this talk about Newcastle, they're still the same old shit Newcastle. I said it on the pre-match bump up. I wasn't worried coming in today. <laughs> like last year, we handed them the, 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 the two draws. We handed it to them single-handedly. But that was already being rectified with fitness levels being improved, our defence being improved. So I, I was coming into this game knowing we were going to win. In terms of standout performance, I have to say... Endon Bele, I want to give a big shout out to Endon Bele. He, he was moving mad today. He was absolutely brilliant. Some of the silky skills, you know, he's passing. But most importantly, what I was impressed with was his tempo setting today. He slowed it down when it needed to be slowed down. He quickened it up when it needed to be quickened up. And we've we, we been missing it since Christian Eriksen. is that player that can hold the ball in the final third and create sustained attack and pressure. And we've done that today, I have to say. Bar barred a little mishap at the end. It was a very, very comfortable performance. And th th there's a lot of positives um, go going forward, you know. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Harry Kane. He got a goal and an assist today. Absolutely delighted to see him back rocking. I think Son was brilliant. He took it to David, Newcastle are you happy next. about Harry Kane's performance today? <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely Can't delighted. Tell. Was, Can't tell. Was, well, every, everyone was questioning him. Everybody, everybody was questioning him. I must have been, I felt like the only man at times standing there defending him. Hi, you know? hi, hi, and David. Of, <laughs> Harry Kane apologies yeah, right here. <laughs> actually, uh, do you know what? I have to actually commend you, Sin. You know, I've heard you stick it to your brother about the Harry Kane situation and everything else. So fair play to you. Uh, me and you were the last two standing, you know. But look, when it comes to Harry Kane, we, we have to be honest with ourselves. We need to show him the love and we need to get him back proper f firing because if we want to achieve anything this season, he's going to be he's going to be at the forefront of it like he has been mm -hmm. over, over years gone by. So we have to... We have to get him into the team and play him well. And you could see what the goal meant to him, the relief on his face. It looked like he was after, he was constipated for a week or something like that. And, you know, he was after going to the toilet. The relief on his face, it was unbelievable. Then you look at the whole team. Another question answered, is there a friction between him and the team? The team mobbed him. He was like a superstar up on stage. They mobbed him. It was absolutely great to see. Um, oh, I'm just delighted he's back. I really am. It's such a relief for me, especially because I put it out there before the game. You know, I went big today putting it out there before the game. It's always a risk to do. But um, I thought Sun was brilliant today as well. You know, the only man that can defeat, can, can beat COVID within 18 <laughs> hours. What a man. But he took it to the new players. Every opportunity he got, you know, he ran at them. He ran at them. He was direct. And that's what you want to see. I thought he was brilliant. But Hoiberg and Skip in midfield, lads. Oh, my God, what a partnership. Skip just protects that back four brilliantly. And Hoiberg takes the ball off him and then plays that pass like he does in behind for uh, Harry Kane today. Absolutely brilliant partnership. That It's so underrated. People are sleeping on this partnership. I cannot wait for Ollie Gunnar Shoeshiner to come here with his shiny toys <laughs> because they're just going to absolutely break them in, 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 into bits. I can't wait. Um, Regulon, I thought, was amazing today. Um, especially with what he done for that Newcastle fan. He potentially saved his life today by getting that game stopped. And then fair play to Eric Dyer running over and getting the guy with the defibrillator and telling him to get over there. It's good to hear that that fan is uh, is is um, alive and kicking as well. That's good to hear, I have to say. It's very good to hear. But Reglan's performance today was unbelievable. I was absolutely raging when John Joe Shelby took him down because I thought a goal was coming. This guy is due a goal. I thought it was going to be then. But I'm not going to lie, it was nice to wave um, Shelby off the pitch too. I thought Emerson was brilliant on the right-hand side. I thought Romero was class. In fact, I thought all 10 players were class, apart from Eric, Eric Dyer.
Mm. Uh, let me ask you this, David. I mean, for all the dominance we had today, and we were really dominant pretty much apart from the yeah. first five minutes of the game, we completely wiped four of them, didn't really feel that threatened at all uh, throughout the first 90 minutes, apart from those first five minutes. But we didn't create that many clear-cut chances, and we've only finished the game with a one higher goal XG than them, which is actually mad when you think about the amount of uh, dominance we had. I mean, are you worried about that? Does that worry you at all? Do you know what? It worries me uh, slightly. Look, there is a stat out there. We've created less chances under Nuno than what we have under Jose and Poch. And um, that, that is worrying. But look, this is going to take time. This is going to take time. Unfortunately, at Tottenham Hotspur, we were at a time where we had Martin Yole and Kamoli. We've gone back that far. We're now at a time where we have to give these young, hungry players that we've brought in. That I think Paratici has got his sign his spot on. We have to give them a chance to develop into this team. And hopefully Harry Kane, the likes of Son and the experienced guys, Lloris, can get them to settle in quicker. But it worries me, but I do I, I do think there's a hell of a lot of positives going forward. I, I, I do. I, look, in, in the second half, Newcastle did just sit a lot of men behind the ball. They weren't really interested. They were just trying to shore it up. But look, I do think going forward, like we, we've had a lot of injuries. We've had the whole thing with Harry Kane and Umbele as well. The whole thing with him going on. We've had all the, the injury in international breaks. We've been screwed over. We haven't consistently been able to put out our best team. And as a guy that played football every day of the week, every day of the week growing up, um, you know, you can put a team out there. Yes, on any given day, they might get the result. But when you can start putting the team out there on a consistent basis, that's when everyone knows what movement each other is making. That's when everything just clicks. And I think we, I think now is the perfect time to do it. I really do. I said before the international break, maybe it was a blessing in disguise Harry Kane not scoring. Now he can come into form. Now we don't have another international... Well, actually, it's November, isn't it? Next international break. Fuck it. Anyway, yeah, but no. up until then, you know, if we can get out that a consistent 11 out there and let them flourish, because I do think we have a very good team on our hands right now. We have to remember Spurs fans, as bleak as it's been at times already this season, we're four points off top. We're sitting in fifth, same points as Brighton. Now yeah. I would have snapped. I would have snapped your hands off. And we're above Man United and Cristiano Ronaldo. Huh? We're above Man United and Cristiano Ronaldo. Who would have thought that? Huh? Who would have thought that? <laughs> Honestly, look, this team can go places. The Premier League is wide open right now. It's absolutely sitting there for a team to go. On I'm not saying we're going to win the league because that's not realistic. We're not. But every year, one team in that top four has a bad season and they are catchable. And if we can put a run together between now and January, hopefully then January when the market opens, we can get one or two bodies in to help. But if we can put a consistent run between between now and January, we have a bloody good shot of turning around from where we were to now. And I, I think I think with the likes of Romero at the helm, Kane, Skip, um, you know, Son. Um, Heuberg, I, I, I can see it coming, you know, I really can. Look, I think most importantly, we have to stick with the 4 2 3 1. I think the 4 3 3 has to be binned. It does not work, it does not suit the players at this club, and it's off balance. When we play the 4 2 3 1, Emerson can bomb on, Regulon can bomb on, and they're not worried about giving away the ball because they know the sweepers are behind them um, in, in Skip, in Skip and, and Heuberg. They will cover either side. Um, you have Endon Belly in there, who I think is, is crucial. Because it means Harry Kane can actually stick up top where he's supposed to be because he now has confidence that that ball will come. That ball will find him. You know, rather than when we were back with Watford, Harry Kane was dropping super deep, almost on top of the centre-backs at the time to pick up the ball. And that's because he had no confidence the ball was coming. Now that he's got the goal, now that he knows there are players there that can play that pass, <coughs> hopefully now, you know, we, we can get more ball in. But there's a lot of positives going forward. I really do see it. All right. All right. Love that. Absolutely love that. Forget the pre-match pump up. This is the post-match pump up. Come on, David. Absolutely I love that. More than that. <laughs> I have to do the whole lot. You know? No, it was a good pre-match pump up today. I really enjoyed it. But look, lads, um, I I'm so confident with this FIFA, FIFA crack that um, I nearly uh, get a forfeit going, you know. We should nearly put out a poll and see what the fans want to see as a forfeit or something like that. That's, a, that's how confident I am. I can see you guys are a bit hesitant there. Um, oh, I can see the confidence is draining. I'm up for a forfeit as long as that forfeit doesn't because anytime anyone asks me to do a forfeit it's always oh yeah wear an Arsenal shirt if you lose there is no chance I'm ever wearing an Arsenal shirt so no, yeah, as, long as, I wouldn't do as long as it's not that I'm all up for it no look I speak I speak to my co-host Jack 
I'll see what we can come up with, something interesting. Look, I wouldn't do the Arsenal team because I wouldn't wear one either, so I don't blame you. But it's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to set down a day, get it done. But honestly, boys, Tottenham fucking Hotspur are back, baby. We have something we can get behind and something we can love again for the next few days. So come on, you Spurs. Let's have it. Great job today, guys. <laughs> Big up, David. Maybe the loser has to, uh, has to buy a Harry Winks t-shirt or something. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yeah, that, that's almost like an Arsenal jersey for me. I probably could stretch that <laughs> Winks jersey. But no, big up everybody, and thanks everyone for for tuning in on the pre-match pump up and for coming on as well. It's greatly appreciated. The show is not without you guys, so big up. And I hope everyone was running around with their American football hats on before the game break and things. Wait, wait, excitement! They were pumped up that much. <laughs> big up, David. Everyone, go and subscribe to the Irish Hotspur, um, and obviously tune in for his pre-match next pre-match pump up on Thursday before the Vitesse game. Big up, David. Thanks for coming on, and we'll see you next time. Come on, you. Come on. Get in, David. <laughs>